this is the fourth station, Jesus is denied by Peter. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. This is a reading from Matthew 26, verses 69 to 75. Now Peter was sitting outside in the courtyard. One of the maids came over to him and said, You too were with Jesus the Galilean. But he denied it in front of everyone, saying, I do not know what you are talking about. As he went out to the gate, another girl saw him and said to those who were there, This man was with Jesus the Nazarene. And again he denied it with an oath, I do not know the man. A little later the bystanders came over and said to Peter, Surely you too are one of them. Even your speech gives you away. At that he began to curse and swear. I do not know the man, and immediately a cock crowed. Then Peter remembered the word that Jesus had spoken. For the cock crows, you will deny me three times. He went out and began to weep bitterly. Peter denied being a follower of Jesus. He denied knowing Jesus. Despite the years that Peter followed him and his teachings, he still denied Jesus. In the moment when his support was most needed and when it was the most challenging to give, he denied Jesus. Just like Peter, we too can easily deny our connections, our shared humanity with those who are most in need of our support. Instead of offering hope, acceptance, and an emphasis on our connection as one human family, we deny them. We deny our brothers and sisters in Christ when we fail to welcome them into in their time of need and offer them equitable treatment as children of God, we deny Jesus. Now it's prayer time. Lord, grant us the gift of honesty, that we may be able to speak the truth even when difficult. Jesus, with your love in our hearts, we will be able to stand by those in our lives who suffer and will not abandon them. Holy Mother of God, pray for us, pray for us. Amen.